magic eye book? No, what is that? I want to look into it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Playing football with the phone. Riff <laughs> says that I should uh, tell you about the magic eye book. Okay. There are those computer printout images that they did in the 90s, and if you stare at them softly, they go into 3D images. Right. Remember those? Yeah, yeah, like MC Escher or something to that effect, but maybe a little different. I get that. Mm -hmm. Or guys lost me, but what? <laughs> if you type in Magic Eye, mm -hmm. they'll come up on the computer, but then print it out and see all the instructions. If you can master that, then you can master seeing subtle light energy. Oh, wow. Practice doing it around living people before you move on to dead people. So you'd be able to see Griff's light as energy. Wow, okay. This is, it uh, requires you to stay focused in space, not on an object, and it requires you to unfocus your eyes but stay locked in one place. I can do that. And um, it creates a, a fuzzy, a hazing, and allows a lot of light to go into the back of the eye, which will help you see that subtle light energy. Wow. And uh, you'll start to see white or gas fumy halos around people and inanimate objects, and that's the beginning of doing it. And when you get more comfortable with it, you'll start to see color that comes with it, and it grows. The um, reason I'm, the reason he wants to mention it is that both of you have the ability of doing that if you ever wanted to play around with it, almost like a hobby, don't make it like the main thing you got to do. But um, it's easiest if you get around really bad lighting, like the fluorescent lights in a meat section at the grocery store. Oh, I hate that, yeah. <clears throat> or fluorescent lights in an office. You know, they kind of flicker, so they screw with the eyes focus. Right. And um, you can just softly look around the edge of somebody's head or between their ear and shoulder is a great place because then you have the light shining from two directions, off the head and off the shoulder. Stare in the space, not the body, not behind it, not in front of it. And unfocus your eyes a little bit and watch the glow. And then he said for his mom, his mom's a feeler. She feels things. So you might not see the color right away, Mom. You might see the white haze. I do. Like the fumes. Mm. Then you got to ask yourself, how does it feel? What color are they? Oh, I don't see it the way he's talking about at this moment. Like, I want to practice that. But when I lay down, like last night, I was seeing that white, <clears throat> when it starts, like clouds and coming in and out and... Oh, my God, that's so cool. Yeah, and then I just couldn't get energy. comfortable. Just, so when that starts to happen, Mom, you just say, you know, what color? Ask your body, what color is it? And you will... It's changing the way he wants me to say it. Okay. Uh, if he wants to push... <laughs> Does that make sense? He wants to push the color all over you. So it's almost like you ask the question, mm -hmm. then you feel completely blue. Okay. And you're like, oh, it must be blue. Well, you feel completely lime green. Like he's going to make it wash over you. Because that's how good your body is sensing the color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he won't just whisper in your ear and go, lime green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More like a, oh, I feel really orange. Like your hands look orange. Mm -hmm. Everything. Am I accurate when I think he's around or I say it to people like Griff's here? Because, like, right now, is he in the room right now with me? Because I just got cold. Yes. And he, he's not... I'd have a chill. ...over to laugh at you. He's saying that it'd be great, kind of like in the medieval times, if you would also blow the horn. <laughs> Griff's here. Because it's, it's so funny to be announced when you're in the room. <laughs> I know, I know. When he's here, since he made this... Sage has on. Oh my they'll god! Tell I want to see if they'll tell you what Sage has on. She's so crazy. <laughs> what she has on? No, but on her head. <laughs> Will they tell you? Can he see it? It's not a hat. Nope. That's a shirt. Not a beanie. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> she wanted to make me laugh. Then. Hmm. What? It looks like it's clipped in. It is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Colored? Colored? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's not hair. No. no. 
She wore it this morning to make me laugh. <laughs> I can't tell the design of it. Like, what's the function piece? Is it? <clears throat> but I know it's clipped in and it's soft and fuzzy and it's colored. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah. It's my bunny ears. I have them light and they they're light up. They're um, what do you call it? Like they're flashing lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just turned it on for you. Now she turned it off. <laughs> it's clipped in. That is awesome. <laughs> Under her headband. She walks through my gate this morning with ears. I was like, like good that. morning, sunshine. I know. <laughs> it was awesome. Child, right? Ever mm -hmm. lasting child. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Don't ever stop that. I don't care. A thousand people tell you to mature and get your age. Don't ever do it. Nope. No, I know. Age is just a number, Jamie. You know that, right? Oh, Time's yeah. not linear. No. <laughs> Besides, this is our I linear have stuff. Mustard color energy as well. <laughs> you do. You do too, Jamie. Oh yes. Mm. I mm. think that that seems to me like it would be a great thing. You know, I do. Some people get so frustrated with it because it doesn't naturally go with the same flow as our society. Yeah, society has so many like restrictions on it and things that <clears throat> it don't really belong, really. Doesn't fit everybody. Sage and I think we're ahead of the curve. <laughs> we can only talk to each other, so we're like, we're so far ahead of everybody. We're the we only two people we back. know yeah. that we can talk to about this yeah. stuff. <laughs> A couple people, but. I mean, and even you can't go deep with them. Like, you talk about, like, we're reading the book about trees screaming in the forest. Oh, that was stupid. That they have souls. People are like, she walks away. They're like, cuckoo, cuckoo. Like, no. oh, my God. If you hear anything, it's my... Uh, younger uh, son Dylan getting up. Gigi's school. brother. He, I made, I heard a big bang upstairs. He goes the other one. The other one, yes. Yes. <laughs> the puppy. Do you remember the puppy theory that Nothing. I used to talk with you about, Gigi? <laughs> He's laughing. He says yes. No. Oh. <laughs> when he was born, uh, Dylan, he always wanted a sibling. They're five years apart, and <laughs> yeah, Griffin was a traffic stopper. As a baby, big curly hair. And uh, it's oh my god, situation. Oh yeah. my god. Big Gerber baby. And uh, when Dylan came, everybody paid attention to him because Griffin was the dog then. He wasn't the puppy. So we'd always explain how, you know how puppies are so cute? <laughs> yeah. And everybody freaks out over a puppy. Yeah. Well, you were the puppy too, but now, like, you're the dog. <laughs> and, the, and Dylan's the puppy now. Right. And He'll Dylan be will soon. be a dog soon. <laughs> and, like, uh, yeah. we try to make him laugh about it. <laughs> yeah. I know. He's all, you're always a puppy, G, but you got it. Yeah, yeah. you get it. Yeah. Now the focus is back on me. Yes, of exactly. course. Exactly. Always, G. Always. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, G, is there... Um, oh, hi, Dill. Do you want to say hi to Griff? You want to say hi to Griff? Say hi. Give him a shout out. <laughs> He's not awake yet. <laughs> That's what he was telling me. He goes, don't, don't ask for them. He can't think right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's, um, did you see Dylan hit his home run, Griff, last week? Yes. Was what do you amazing? think? Yeah, that wasn't even like an almost home run. That was like above and beyond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but so it was. True. <laughs> do you see him flip the bat like you do? Like you did? <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. He said that's really nice that you remember that. Oh, I remember everything. Yeah. Too. We're, we're intertwined. And with somehow. your hand and your hand on your hip and your pictures, yeah. Yeah. We're intertwined. I mean, I just, you know, made you in my tummy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was talking about the book. Okay. Time. Time to talk about the book. Oh, because <clears throat> your mom is talking to you. Hey, Mom, what's up? Oh, my God, she loves you guys so much. No. So happy to be here. This is so much fun. Aw. She didn't you, know Mom. about all this either when she died. You know, like, I don't know. I, I thought she was raised Catholic and all that, but I don't know what she thought was going to happen when she died. She 
blames uh, Griff for showing her everything. <laughs> she blames him? Yeah. <laughs> it's not her fault. He did all of it. <laughs> so um, cute. He wants the organization of it to be a little bit different. Okay. <clears throat> because we've talked. He says we, like he has co-authored this, by the way. Oh, well, he will. Yeah. <laughs> um, he says, you know, we've talked about <clears throat> what's happened, mm-hmm. his death, and talking about the steps during it. Um, okay. Right. Sorry, I'm going to use my own words here because he's, he's talking. Well, you're, they're, they're both talking at the same time, so I'm just going to merge it. Tell my mom to be quiet. She talks a lot, too. <clears throat> told you, you be quiet and listen. Yeah, I know. mom talk. Sage me we, we, and my mom talk made a mom lot. talk. Yeah. You made her be quiet for her every time. Her hand, like, oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, no. mom. They're discussing when you, when you tell the story about how the gentleman decided not to help. Mm-hmm. Don't call him a gentleman. Okay, she backs off of that. <laughs> when the guy. Psycho. Yeah. Um, decided not to help. That, um, she, she's thinking to make it more impactful to show other races? No. Animals. Even how animals, when they're, one of their, uh, family members in the pack is in distress, Ooh. how that they'll fall behind how that they'll stay together, how they'll stop migration. Mm-hmm. How they will put everything in pause, mm. the process of this person and, mm. or that animal in their healing. Mm. And mm. looking at human nature. So not just leaving it to the fault of that one man, but putting the responsibility on the greater whole of compassion, of why did we teach our children right and wrong? Because... You know, this guy didn't want to bring in your son because he didn't want to be wrong. He didn't want to be charred. Mm, that's deep. When the value of life should have exceeded the sensation of right or wrong. And oh, that amen. Concept, the value of life should have exceeded. <clears throat> My head's going up and down. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If we were in church, you'd get an Amen. <laughs> And so she's telling you to look at birds, mm-hmm. look at uh, elephants. Mm, elephants, I was you know, just watching them. Land creature, but she likes elephants. And then look even at water creatures, dolphins. So um, how they behave and what their their process okay. is for caring for or pulling together their, their family, their pod, their unit. Mm. Interesting, I was just watching elephants. And three came to the rescue of a little baby that just... Couldn't get up a hell, hill and fell backwards. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it was cute, like, but as fast as they all came, it was amazing. And I saw another one where elephant cried. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh They're amazing, Jamie. Like, oh my god, they it's cry. Like, um, there was this one I was studying the, the process of death and dying with Marco Party. He's a thanologist study of death and dying through other cultures Mm -hmm. and he was talking about these black birds and when one bird dies they actually all stand around and they sing Mm. and one by one they grab a twig they grab something and they place it on the bird you're making me cry (laughs) oh you're making me cry (laughs) isn't that amazing these these are birds we don't think that they have that sense of community it's so amazing so your mom is saying, make it more impactful. Don't just make it uh, Surface. about the human. Right. Bring everybody into it. She goes, you are going to have people locked into that book like crazy. That's mm. beautiful, Mom, and that's so true. That's amazing because, I don't know, just, I, I can't, I mean, I feel you. I can't say anything that would um, top that. Like, you're you're so right. A million percent right. You know, I want to say this is an epidemic, and when they even wrote it about it in the paper, they said, uh, "What is kind of like? What is the world coming to if someone won't dial nine one one?" You know. 
Yes. Right. And they're afraid of being wrong. And teach how we need to drop the reward punishment system. We need to start caring for people mm-hmm. and not feeling like we're wrong. We're so afraid of. Oh, I'm Griff interrupting. <laughs> we're so fucking afraid of being sued. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to tell that car to stop because if they don't stop Mm -hmm. and they get hit and then they tell the police that, you know, I was involved and I can get fucking sued for the car wreck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really Me, 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 me. Everything me, me, me. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm I'm starting to think that when we all wake up, whether we call that being enlightened or not, we're going to measure ourselves by the, the depth of our emotional ability. Yeah, you're right, Griff. And mom, you're so right. That was amazing. That, that needs to be written down. That needs to be somewhere. Because like, that rings really true. And I haven't heard it in words like that. We're not going to measure ourselves by our status and our money. We're going to start looking at our depth, you know, emotional depth. Exactly. So true. We, we've really steered away from that. And he says, that's why you're on the earth. Reel us back in. Mm-hmm. Griffin, mom is. I was thinking about this. Um, is where you are, where we originate from, and this is to improve us and learn lessons, and then we come home, or you know what I'm saying? Like, am I articulating that right? Your mom says you can word it like that just fine. Yeah. Is it that way, mom? She said she gets confused with the word originate. Okay. Um, is that more our home base as humans? Yes. Okay. And this is an experience that we're going to return home and then we come back to learn something else? And yes. Okay. Yes. Um, but she says when you get here, you'll work out the details of how time works. Because it's not in the yeah. and narrow as as we were taught it was. Mm-hmm. Um, when, when you get there and you go through your life review, do you see if you learned your lessons or not and you have to come back? or mm-hmm. For that same lesson if you didn't learn it? She's saying yes, but at the same time she's waving her finger no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, explain. <laughs> life review and you don't just see it she said you you feel it and you feel how your responses and your involvement fell upon other people Mm. so it's not just through your own eyes one more time you get to see it through other people's eyes and feel it through other people's bodies is it only the negative where you messed up or is it the positive also oh it's the whole thing and And it's such a shame, she says, we actually have so much more positive than negative. Mm. We don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. That's what Griffin has said. He didn't realize how much impact he left. More than friendships, he said, impact. He had. He's nodding his head, yes. Mm -hmm. And your mom says, then it's up to you. It's your choice if you want to build upon those lessons again or grow them or experience it one more time. All your lives are under your own control. When you go there, Mom and Griff, if you're an asshole on Earth, are you an asshole there? Like, you you are who you are? She smiles. She said, not necessarily. Most likely, you'll leave your humanness behind. Okay. And you'll identify with your spirit, soul, self again. Right. She said, sometimes... People are really stubborn after they die, and they don't know how to adjust to being a spirit, and they want to stay very human. Right. Those are the ones who keep that negativity. Right. They can't climb the dimensions Mm -hmm. to where we are because Mm -hmm. they're blocking themselves, and Mm -hmm. when they're done, they're done, and they come over. Mm -hmm. Have, I would assume that you and Griffin, Mom, have helped each other in tremendous ways? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. The love and, um, do you guys grieve or are you okay? She said you can grieve. Mm-hmm. 
But she goes, when I'm two steps into grieving, I realize how it's not serving me at all and how it's not even real. <laughs> God bless you, Mom. Absolutely. She says, we're all together. Absolutely. And then I laugh at it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I go visit my children. Aww. <laughs> oh. 